I'm Kim Weisenborn, and today we're going to learn how to make a shadow. So a shadow is basically a mixture of the object color and its complement. So the object today is the apple, which is red, and its complement is green. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix those two colors together, the red and the green, and come up with a gray that is a good shadow for the apple. So the color for the apple that I used was Natfall Red, which is right here. And I'm just going to take that and I'm going to mix it with a green. And this green is a phthalo green. It's a nice bright green. And when you mix the two together, you get a gray. And that's kind of what a shadow color is. It's basically gray made up of those two colors. So you're going to take that mixture and with a fully loaded brush you're going to put the shadow on the apple which is it's going to be the opposite of this highlight right here. See the highlight? Uh, the light is coming in this direction so the shadow is going to be cast in this direction. And generally a shadow is a, sort of an oval coming off the bottom of left of the apple here. So we're going to just take a shadow and we're going to come right off the bottom of the apple. Just like this. Like that. Okay? And then after that, you can take the same color, like let's just say just plain red, and you can just pop it right in near the base of the apple and around the edge of the apple and let it just sort of drop in. I'm not going over it and over it, I'm just letting the, the paint touch the paper and sort of paint itself over here. If it just gets a little bit too green, you can add a little red out there, and it just really creates a nice shadowy color. Oops, I didn't put my line in there. Here. Okay, and we're just going to add a little bit more red. I can see on the video that it gives it just a little bit more oomph. Alright, so that's the basic shadow. Good luck and enjoy!